So after the season one, Cheryl went to a dark place. A darker place. A darker place. <laughs> yes. yes, she did. And I was wondering if you could just talk about where you expect your this year go from here. I think Cheryl has come out of her dark place in her mind. I think Cheryl's going to be, to the audience, Cheryl's going to look like she's gone darker and meaner. But then Cheryl has become a stronger um, person. And she's like a phoenix being reborn from the ashes of her house. She's, she's kicking ass and she's taking names. And she's not going to put up with any more crap from her mom. And she's done. Yeah. With Josie, are we going to see her interacting with the group more? Is she going to kind of get in on the investigations or whatever shenanigans? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure uh, what the shenanigans are going to be, but she's definitely going to be in our store uh, with the core for it. She's joining the group of Vixens with their girl, Cheryl. Oh, so um, I know, it's going to be great. You're going to get a chance to actually see the you dynamic did. of oh, right, our, uh, well, yes. um, but our relationship or our friendship. Uh, like she said, like we've talked about all in season one, or doing <laughs> Season one, um, and there's also going to be uh, more music involved with Josie. There is going to be a potential love interest. It might be Reggie. It might not. Um, and there's going to be issues like with her mom because there's a lot happening in Riverdale that's going to affect everyone. So you're going to be able to see what uh, Josie's point of view is. I'm really hoping so. I, I, I can't say for sure, but I'm hoping that we're able to. Because I, I feel like that is really going to determine how Josie is going to continue to move through the world, especially with how the choice that he made is going to impact her. It's edgier, it's sexier, yeah. it's more, uh, it's gonna have a lot more of a thriller element this season than yeah. last season. We're kind of going like, we were like middle film noir, I feel like, last season, and we're like, oh, I think we're as film noir as TV can get at this point. In a way that is still very grounded and, very and, and, and captivating and very rewarding. Yeah. It's just we've sunk it deeper into ourselves, and it's just there's this weight, and you feel it, it's thickness, and all you have, all you want to just wade through it. It's it's. it's and we have more episodes to do that this season. So yeah, we'll have, we'll have more chance time. to do that. Yeah. How does it feel to have all these episodes? I think it's like the ultimate sense of validation that what we love and what we're passionate about, other people are passionate about as well. I mean, it's like it's what every actor dreams of is to have like a 13 episode order and their second season get a 22 episode order. It's amazing. Yeah.